Is it art or is it architecture? That's what visitors to one of Sydney's historic buildings are asking when they see what's grown up inside. Well, according to the designer of a giant green lycra creation that twists up through the middle of Customs House, it's both. It curls up the middle of the colonial building like a giant green plant. And that's no accident because this deceptively simple looking creation owes its design to nature. Well, it's hard to surpass the genius of nature, but you can learn from the genius of nature. We try to, rather than simulate the shape or beauty in nature, we try to simulate principles, learn from these principles and apply the principles to art and architecture and design. Its designer, architect Chris Boss, loves the crossover between architecture and art. He was part of the design team of the Beijing Olympics water cube that wowed the world. The water cube in Beijing is based on the three-dimensional arrangement of soap bubbles. Again, a very lightweight structure, a very strong structure, and a very beautiful structure because the natural organic shape appeals to people. Since it was built in 1845, the Customs House has been a clearinghouse first for goods and now for ideas that capture the imagination. It looks like one of them big ear things. It's very, very weird. I certainly think it's very dynamic. I think it's very engaging. I think it transforms the space and really bridges the five levels. But there's a serious point to the Green Giant. Experiments with modern materials like this could be transferred to major buildings. And from that uh, we hope for better architecture, more efficient architecture, lighter architecture, stronger architecture and ultimately more beautiful architecture. Or maybe it's just another twist to the greening of Australia. Anne-Maria Nicholson, ABC News, Sydney.